I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some thoughts about factoring trinomials. The question here is, find the coefficient k so that the trinomial kx square minus 72xy plus 16y square can be factored. Now this is a very difficult question and if you get a question like this, you can do it in two ways. One way is that think about k as any even number, right? So if I write k as equals to 2, 4, 6 or anything, any even number, then what happens to the equation? Well, in that case I can write equation as 2x square minus 72xy plus 16y square and I can always factor 2, right? So that's called group factoring. Perfect. So we get this and this is 36 xy uh, plus 8y uh, square, right? No harm. The factoring has been done, right? Or or any even number for that matter, we can take k, right? So at times there is a slip in, in the question itself. You can always take advantage of this. And it's a very strong recommendation because these days you do see such questions in the test paper, right? The uh, Most of the time, however, this question will not be written like this. We will have Find the coefficient k so that the trinomial kx square minus 72xy plus 16y square can be factored as a perfect square, for example, right? So, perfect square. Okay, now in that case, the solution is what is really expected. Uh, then, how to find this solution? Let's go back to that. So, we have kx square minus 72xy plus 16y square, correct. Space it out so that you get room to do uh, your calculations. Now when we say perfect square, that means we want this number to be a square or something. So we have square root k x whole square. Do you see that? That number should also be a perfect square of something. This is 4y whole square. And the number in the center should be 2 times these two numbers, correct? That is 4y times this number, which is square root k x. Now, if you get this kind of a thing, only then you can have a perfect square, correct? Now, this is 4y, okay? So, that really means that we can now equate 72xy with this number right and find the value of k right so you have an equation to work with so we have uh, two times let me write them as such itself 4y times square root of k x should be equals to 72 x y I dropped minus from both right now so from here we can say well x and x will cancel out y and y will cancel out so we have square root k equals to we'll simplify numbers later equals to 72 divided by 2 times 4 right let me write 8 because you know 8 times 9 is 72 perfect so that means k is equals to 9 square or 81 correct so you get the answer of k is 81. So we get our answer and that is k equals to 81. So this is the real method which should be adopted to solve such questions. But the idea is that if you don't get this somehow, you know, in the test, then at least you can write a number, even number and factor it, right? <laughs> so that could salvage some marks at least. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.